So the reason why I'm in the car is because I snuck out of a very important meeting. I gave them the lamest excuse just so I could get out and watch Spider-Man Homecoming. I'm gonna run there, watch the movie, tell you all about that, and then we're gonna talk about art. How about that? Alright, so come with me. I really want my popcorn. See you later! Hey, don't judge, I'm a grown-up, but I love movies, so I don't care. Spider-Man Homecoming, where's the exit here? I'm always lost. Oh, okay, okay, I think I found it. Whoa, there's cars everywhere. Where do I go? You know, this whole thing of being a vlogger, the thing is I'm always sweaty. Never go into a movie unprepared. I gotta get running right now. Got my popcorn. <laughs> Let's go. Guys, the movie was amazing, and I'll tell you in the car. This was by far one of the best Spider-Man movies. I can't even describe it, I gotta find the car now. Oh no, I'm gonna find the car. Let's go. Let's try to get out of here. We're gonna find a way, okay, don't worry. People are slow here, I know. Have patience, my people. There are spoilers in this video. Do not blame me for telling you all about the new Spider-Man. The truth is, this was an absolutely amazing movie. Now, let me tell you why. How come he gets the cool stuff from a spider, but he never gets the ugly stuff that spiders have, like the hairs and fangs and all the nasty things? All right, guys, so I'm back in the studio. Spider-Man was incredible. It went beyond my expectations because Peter Parker was really such a genuine character. He had all the aspirations, dilemmas of a teenager boy. He had no father figure. He was a very fragile boy. He couldn't approach his high school crush. His costume was more flimsy. The character was incredibly adapted to 2017. He was a vlogger, so I definitely give my thumbs up to this movie. If I have to make any kind of criticism, I mean, just don't pick an old Batman to be the villain in a Spider-Man movie. And the guy with the wings was the Batman from Batman Return from the late 1990s. I don't get why you need to recycle actors like that. It makes no sense. How can you even do that? They're basically assuming that the audience of today never watched the movies from the 90s. I don't get that kind of mentality. But how about we talk about art? Well, there is one major aspect that I really want to talk to you guys about. Where is the symbolism in Spider-Man? Symbolism is in the dark, juxtaposed in the light. It's in the evil, juxtaposed by extreme kindness and good. That, I would say, is a study of a Caravaggio painting. Caravaggio was well known for his chiaroscuro, light and dark. So the light and darkness that has been around for hundreds of years in paintings, that has been now repeated in our legends through movies. It really is about the power of the human being against evil, against big giant obstacles. With that in mind, I'll tell you guys to stay curious, stay sharp, and stay creative. I'll talk to you guys later.